somebody who is so damn exciting. It's just certainly in this day and age when you see young stars blossom and not just blossom, but get you off the couch. Get you off the couch when you see a highlight. Get you calling your kids over to the phone and saying, you got to see this that just showed up in the palm of my hand because everything he does is electric. And um, that guy is John Moran of the Memphis Grizzlies. Yeah, baby. And that's how I want to start this program because I love this kid. He plays with a reckless abandon but a joy. It's infectious watching him play basketball. And you see him and his actions are plugged in like the Matrix to the fans who are in the stands watching him. That's so rare, too, in our business of sports. Curry is like that yeah. in the NBA, for instance. Just as, for example, there's, there's multiple ones. Marshawn Lynch was like that with the 12s in Seattle. J.J. Watt for all those years in Houston. They made a big play, and it was electric. The whole stadium lit, and it was tough to stop the momentum. And you see this from John Morant right now. Last night against the San Antonio Spurs, he was downright remarkable. 52 points, breaking a career-high number of points that he had set in his previous game. He's gone now 46 and 52. That's almost a century of points in his last two games. And his 52 points last night, the stat sheet jumps out at you, 22 of 30 shooting (laughs) for 52 points, uh, four of four from three in just 34 minutes. But that doesn't tell the story. You've got to Google what the kid did. He posterized Jakob Potl. A potal posterizing. He went and climbed a seven-footer, taking off from well outside the semicircle. Well outside. He took off and just threw it down over a seven-footer with two minutes to go in the first half of the game. And he closed out the first half of the game. By the way, remarkable pass from uh, Stephen Adams. The length of the floor, like... um, he, he made, you know, Duke versus Kentucky, this throw looked like uh, a, a little bounce pass. Great but it, it, was the, it, like, was, wow. it was the entire length of the court baseball pass that Morant caught on the baseline in the air and without landing, put it up and hit nothing but net. And the whole place went nuts. And I don't even know why the Spurs came out for the second half. Like it was really <laughs> one of those moments. <laughs> And this kid is absolutely dynamite and taken off, and everybody is beginning to take notice. And if you haven't, you best. And if you haven't, then you clearly don't follow Allen Iverson on Twitter. Because after last night's performance, for some reason, Iverson grabbed a Morant jersey that for some reason he had. He's a fan. At his disposal. And put it over his NBA MVP trophy Ooh. and said sooner or later and added the kid. So people of all generations are taking notice. And the Grizzlies now have, right now in the NBA standings, right now have the same number of losses as the Warriors, by the way. How about that? You take a look at the standings and the Western Conference standings, and they're in third place, and they've got the Warriors in their sights right now. And then, you know, they're still a large amount away from the Suns. But the Grizzlies are putting together one of their best seasons. And, yeah, I don't talk about the Memphis Grizzlies very often, but this kid is unbelievable. Pardon me. They have the same number of wins, wins as the Warriors. Yeah. They're just two losses behind the Warriors. Same number of wins. My bad. But they're close. Two and a half games in front of the Jazz. And look out. And that's something I'm going to bring up to Michael Malone because that kid and that team may be the first team the Nuggets see in the playoffs. 
lots can change between now and then. Certainly the Nuggets are on fire. But I really love this kid and what he's doing for that franchise. You take a look at uh, at their all-time greats, the Memphis Grizzlies. You go to their basketball reference page and you could see uh, at the top of the page based on uh, what the the war, the wins. Uh, win share. Win share. Yeah, win share. Okay. Later on today, I'll be concerned going to Indianapolis on wind shear. Hey, now. Hey, now. But wind share. <laughs> and you take a look at the top Grizzlies of all time, and you see two Gasols, Mike Conley, Shane Battier, Mike oh. Miller, and um, one of my favorite names back in the day, Sharif Abdul Rahim. Rahim. Yes. Nice. Loved him. Those are your Grizzlies, you know. Zach Randolph up there, and I know he's beloved, and rightfully so. No big country Reeves on there? Didn't see him. <laughs> but here comes John Morant and kids of all shapes and sizes will dig him and I know they were chanting MVP I still think it's your guy Embiid this year mm -hmm. and it's going to be very difficult certainly with Harden there and if the Sixers do wind up as a one seed or a two seed or whatever he stays healthy. I know I just I, I think it'll be very difficult to unseat Embiid but this kid's doing it and I love watching him play. Oh, my God, do I love watching him play. I love, else, man. love, love watching him play. I was watching his highlights again on my phone in the kitchen last night just because I'm like, I got to see this again. And, um, you know, Coop comes up and says, like, what's going on? And I'm like, just watch this. <laughs> and his face lit up. I wish I had my uh, another phone to, to take a picture. Him. Yeah, 11 years old. Like, that's the good stuff, man. That's what every league wants, and that's what, you know, baseball is going to be missing unless they figure it out over the next five hours. You know, so Rich, you know it's what? great. I love it. I love the kid. Incredible. What I found kind of weird and Chris about and Jason about Jaws game was the 50 points was the third biggest thing of the night. If you <laughs> ask me, like I've seen people score 50 points before. Right. Yes, you have. I, I once watched the guy score 81 points while I was sitting in a Benny Hanna in the Valley. I've seen that. I was a fan of Lob City. So I've seen people get dunked on all the time. I've never and I've watched a lot of basketball, seeing a play that's Stephen Adams throwing that pass yes. to Jaw with the precision of hitting him in the corner and Jaw catching that ball and releasing with four tenths of a second left. I've never ever seen that play before in my life, and I've watched a lot of basketball. That was incredible. I agree. It was about, and that's why I said, you know what? I'm going to start the show with the kid today. I, I just love watching him play, and I love watching a team on the ascent. You know, and then they have fun after the game. <laughs> yeah. and, and Rich, the funny thing about this is going to be tough to stop, guys. This picture is, you know, it's Jaws' moment. Everyone's taking a picture of him, and if you watch the live video, Jaws waving guys over, like, no, no, get in the picture. He wanted his teammates fun in it with him, and that, I thought that was fun. pretty, pretty and, dope. His and daughter I, was in the house too. He was uh, doing the post game interview with the Bally Sports with his daughter in his it. arms. Like, it's just, it's, he's love the best. It. Love How it. Do you not root for this. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.